Hey guys, um, real quick, yes, I have my pillows up here, um, and someone's going to be in this video too, as long as he's not irritating and doesn't try to bite me. So, I completely forgot that today was Friday the 13th, so I've got some bets here for you guys. And yes, I've also got a very long word that I can't pronounce, so please excuse me and bear with me for things that I can't pronounce, because science, believe me, this is science, well, science, mental, I don't know. Um, but there's no written evidence on when Friday the 13th first came about. It is believed to have started back in the 1700s, 1900s, I can't remember exactly which, um, that was first actually written down, documented. Um, but it is believed to have biblical origins. Now the reason for this is Jesus was crucified on a Friday. The day before was the last to supper where him and his 12 disciples making 13 people eight. 13 people on a Friday. So that's where that, that's what some people think. I honestly don't know. Um, so here comes the very long word that I can't pronounce. It's called Frigatriscade Echophobia. And it is very common. It is the fear of Friday the 13th. Uh, and it affects millions of people. <laughs> I mean, just lots of people around the world are terrified of this day. You should not bite me. Thank you. Um, frig, F R I G G, comes from the Norse goddess of wisdom, which means Friday. That's what Friday was named after. Uh, and Triskeidekka is Greek for, for 13. Please, if I'm mispronouncing these, I am so sorry, and just tell me how to pronounce these things, because I would love to learn. And then, of course, phobia means fear. So, Brigatriskadekaphobia. Um, you can either look it up, or you know it's spelled F-R-I-G-G-A-T-R-I-S-K-A-I-D-E-K-A-P-H-O-B-I-E. -E. So pretty long word. There's another word for it that means the exact same thing that starts with a PH but it was longer so I was like I'm gonna go with this one because this one's a little bit less weird. And there, okay, so this one I found really interesting. There cannot be more than three Fridays in one year. So it's very strange. So um, there can't be more than three Fridays or 13, Friday the 13th in a year uh, and the longest it can go is 14 months. So the longest between two Fridays of the 13th would be 14 months before you would see another one. Um, but another fun fact is in order for Friday the 13th to happen, the month has to start on a Sunday. You can go back and check that if you don't believe me. Um, oh, so here's some celebrities that were born on... Friday the 13th. Of course, there's the notorious Alfred Hitchcock. Um, Mary Kate and Ashley also were born on Friday the 13th. Samuel Beckett, he's a novelist and playwright. And then Fidel Castro, the former president of Cuba. So, those are four celebrity. well, yeah, celebrities. Well-known people, I should say. Four well-known people who were born on Friday the 13th. Um, So there has been research on Friday the 13th, people saying, oh, you know, trying to figure out if there's more car accidents, hospital visits, you know, natural disasters, stuff like that. Uh, no, it has little to no effect at all. Just none. <laughs> people have researched this. This is a thing people do, so. This is, this is what people are doing. You guys are having our scientists research this shit instead of, like, cure for cancers and stuff like that, you know, stuff to make us immortal and vampires so we can live forever <laughs> and be sparkly in the sunlight. That's a whole other rant for another day on Twilight. That's not today's. <laughs> um, oh, but in Italy, Friday the 17th, not Friday the 13th, is um, considered bad luck. It's considered, you know, all that fun stuff. Considered to be unlucky. But they believe the number 13 is lucky. While in 
many Spanish speaking countries as well as Greece, um, Tuesday the 13th is unlucky. <laughs> different cultures, different places, different things. What are you doing? Um, would you not scratch, would you not lick yourself right here? Thank you. Um, there's that. Don't bite me. No biting. No. Um, yes, I realized that the dog trying to bite me is bad. And he should be punished for it. But if I lock him up, he whines and barks to the top of his freaking lungs. I know he doesn't have fleas. I, he's probably biting on his scab because some of his brother keeps getting at it. Do not bite me. I will hold your mouth closed for the remainder of this video, bud. Um, but in Finland, there's one Friday the 13th a year they take to make it uh, National Accident Day. Just trying to raise awareness for accidents and safety and stuff like that. Don't bite me. So that's a fun fact there. Oh, and here's a bonus fact. So, um, back in 2004, scientists found um, an asteroid called Apophis. There were some numbers before it. I'm not really sure what the numbers are, but it's 99,942 and then Apophis. I really don't know what the numbers are for. I honestly don't, unless that's the number asteroid they found. I, I honestly don't know who keeps track of this stuff or what the numbers are for. But there was an asteroid called Apophis that they found, or that, you know, was discovered, and it was thought to have a slight chance of hitting the Earth. But luckily, as time has passed, more scientists have come along and found out that on Friday the 13th, 2029, the asteroid will safely pass the Earth. Just safely pass on through. So it'll be safe and good to go. And there was another fact on the website that said, oh, you know the notorious Friday the 13th movies with Jason Voorhees were, you know, kind of uh, made up because of this whole day and all of these superstitions. It was common knowledge. I really didn't think I'd have to put that in this video for you guys. It's the most common knowledge out there. Friday the 13th, the movies, were inspired by the day itself. It's in the freaking title. It's common knowledge, you know? This every horror movie lover knows it, so anyways. Um, but yeah. So and of course everybody knows the normal superstitions. Don't let a black cat pass your uh cross your path, don't step on any cracks, um, don't walk under ladders, don't break a mirror. You know, your normal superstitions and have fun with Friday the 13th. Watch as many horror movies as you can because it may not be Halloween, but it's still a spooky time. So, I love you guys so, so much and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I hope, fingers crossed, and the wood's way over there, and knock on wood way over there, that no accidents happen today. So, Stay home, stay safe, watch some horror movies, and just relax. Bye!